Well, I've been working on this, and I'm telling you girls and boys, persistence pays, because I didn't think I was gonna get this thing out. And where is Rob? He's getting a massage at the chiropractor. Okay, that wasn't very graceful because all the dirt just fell on me. But I don't care because this sucker is out and we can proceed with the fire pit. And I'm soaked. All right, I am beginning to build our fire pit. And I forgot to film phase one, guys. There are the stones. I had them laid in a circle. Uh, we needed 12 of them to make the circle. And sorry, I'm a little out of breath because I've been digging. Um, and then you lay them out and then you cut around the outsides of them because they need to be recessed into the fire pit. The first row is recessed in. So you have to dig a hole about six inches down around the outside of them. And then you, um, well, so that's where I am now. I'm going to dig out and make a nice neat circle, dig down six inches, and then after that, the next step is to, I believe the next step is sand, and you have to really tap it down. Um, I don't know how thick, I have to go back and watch the video. And then after that, there's a layer of gravel, and then you lay the stones around the circle, and then you just stagger them on top, and you build them up as high as you want the fire pit to go, however many rows. I think we're probably gonna need um, one inside and probably three outside and then we might put a layer of cap around the outside so there's a nice rim and you can if you want to glue the stones together so they stay where they should be and that's probably what we're gonna do so let me get moving on this that belly. <laughs> okay next step I got the hole dug out we leveled it off now I had to go out and buy one of these tamper tool things. And Rob is flattening it out. Looking pretty good. I went to Home Depot and I got some gravel and I got some sand. We have to put the sand in there next. And then we put the first layer of stones inside the circle. So. goes the sand. He's going to get mad in a minute because he's doing all the work and I'm just standing around watching. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Nothing. So we got the sand in there and then we figured out after we laid the stones in that our hole was too big. We had a gap that wasn't the size of another stone. So we had to scoot them in a little bit and make it a smaller circle. And then we'll have to fill that in with dirt and plant some grass. But now we're just trying to level out the base um, row or circle or whatever you want to call it. And so Rob is trying to level out the sand and tap them down onto a nice sturdy base. And then I have to go back to Menards and get some more stones because after this we only have two left. I didn't think the car could handle anymore after everything I brought home from the store. So we worked so hard today and right now I'm just enjoying myself on the quiet patio with some torch lights, little torch dude. I love that thing. And I got some new cushions. We decided to keep the patio set, by the way. And so we got pretty far in the fire pit. I forgot to, um, I forgot to continue to film, but I'll, I'll film some more tomorrow and show you how far we got. Um, I made another trip to the store and we had some problems with the the stones because 
they had kind of a little lip on them because they're retaining wall blocks. Hold on a second. Um, yes, this is rough, but I worked so hard. Um, they're retaining wall blocks and they have this little lip on the bottom. They're designed to kind of, you have to, so they stagger a little bit, I guess. And so that didn't work for our needs. We needed to have um, even rows all the way around. And so um, I tried to get some different blocks that were similar, but they were a little not as wide. So I think that would have caused problems. I thought, oh, we have to cut some of them. So I got this chisel thing that is designed to cut brick or chisel brick. Um, anyway, so I was going to get those other stones and I bought 24 of them. And then when the guy went to load them up, I said, could you put, give me more of the triangular shaped pieces because I'm going in a circle. I'm doing a round fire pit. And they said, we only have one little row of those. The rest were kind of odd shaped and they were more rectangles. So I thought, okay, well, what am I going to do? So I went and showed them the kind that I had gotten that we did the first row of and I said it's not gonna work because I can't stack them he said oh these are easy to chisel just take your chisel and your hammer and it knocks right off so I said okay well then I got 24 of those I went and refunded the other ones the guy loaded them up while I was doing that so I was all set to go um, Rob had no problems he chiseled that ledge right off and had it done in no time and then we just kind of put them on there to see how it was going to fit and then so tomorrow we'll put the adhesive on and make it permanent and then we just have to let it dry and we'll be ready to have a fire so that's exciting we're pretty um impressed that we could actually do this diy because we've never really done anything like this before but anyway after we did that i um I can't show you now, but there was moss growing on my brick patio in between, you know, like the cracks. Oh my gosh. So first I sprayed it with weed killer and then I waited. And then tonight I just took this kind of this little hand tool and I scraped it all out and I scraped out all the cracks. I swept everything up. I sprayed off the patio. I moved the table back where it belongs over here. And it is, what time is it? 9.14 and I finally sat down. So I've been working on this. I, I went for a walk this morning, and as soon as I got done with my walk, I came home, I had a little breakfast, and I started working on that fire pit. And I went twice to Menards to get materials, and ugh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow, I'm telling you. But right now, I'm going to enjoy this moment. I'm going to just enjoy my patio, my solitude. I'm going to watch some YouTube. I'm going to watch some of you guys. And so... Yeah, we'll pick this up tomorrow. I'll show you the, the um, status because it's too dark right now to show you. Bye, guys. Morning, guys. So I wanted to show you that we finally finished the fire pit yesterday. And we didn't get a chance to use it last night because we realized we don't have tools for it, like the tongs and things like that. So <clears throat> um, we're going to have to get those today and then maybe... Not tonight, because tonight we're going to a concert, but maybe Monday night, tomorrow night, the 3rd, we can actually use it for the first time. So let me show you. Also, I picked up these chairs yesterday at Home Depot with these cushions that match the cushions for our table. <coughs> Excuse me. It's morning. I have issues. Also, I got a couple sunflowers. They looked really pretty. So I got one and then one here. So I'm starting to put flowers along this, this garden on the side. Aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh, they're so vibrant. <clears throat> and this is just the back corner. We're planting grass here. It's just looking really rough. It always has back here because I think it doesn't get enough sun. Then I bought an additional bush right there. I planted that yesterday because, you know, when we're sitting at the fire pit here, we wanted to block up this gaping hole so we have some privacy from the neighbor back there. Um, <clears throat> and, whoa, I'm walking into, there is the finished product. 
Now this is a DIY. We are not professionals and I think we did a pretty good job. These right here are air holes. Um, from the video I watched how to build this, it recommended making some air holes in that first layer, I guess for the fire. And they're not spaced evenly because we were trying to still maintain the seams on building it up. It was hard. We were having a hard time adjusting it so that it would work, but <clears throat> there's the inside with the gravel. And yeah, so we can't wait to have our first fire. Um, this is a really, we really always have liked this back part of our yard, but we never used it. So um, this is a way we can actually come back here and enjoy it now. Um, oh, and we put up these lights also yesterday. I don't know if you can see them from the sun, but they're kind of just decorative and they give a little glow. And they were actually, they looked really nice at night. My hydrangeas are in bloom. And of course, the ever unwelcome visitor up above. But there it is. So thanks guys for watching. And thanks for following this journey. We actually had fun time building it. We were a little surprised that we could actually do it because we are not big DIYers. So it was fun. All right, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye. We're just prepping for the first fire in our fire pit. Here we go. The logs are all set up. It's never going to look this clean again. Never will. Never will. But it's not close, oh, but the lights just went on. Good timing. Okay, so we're just waiting for it to get dark. And then we'll light it up. We need some more people at our fire pit. It's just us right now. We're just sitting here facing each other. <laughs> it's like a standoff. It's like a standoff, we're just sitting here facing each other. So we have our cute little lights up. Last night we sat over there. We had the chairs set up on that little sidewalk and we lit a torch in between us and we just sat there and, and Rob said, this is kind of nice. It's a different vantage point in our, in our yard because we usually sit on the patio way over there and so we were just sitting over there and we were just talking and having some drinks and um, the torch was lighting everything up and he says it's like we're camping I said it's like we live in a different house it's so weird to have a different uh, sitting in a different place with a different perspective when you always sit in the same place so tonight we're gonna sit back here for the first time so we're using all parts of our yard and you crumple them up into Okay. We've enlisted John's help. Look, look, you just take one at a time. Oops. I know you're trying to video me, but also if you just crumple them up like this, Mom. Mm -hmm. Like actually. Um, yeah, I see. And then you just like stick it down here. Mm -hmm. This fire will light like almost instantly. Okay. Wait, wait, wait for Bob and Jessica. Oh my God. We have to all be here. This girl is in the bathroom. I also got one of those um, Duraflame logs. Maybe we should have used that for our first coming. Feel the difference. Feel the difference between the paper. Feel this one? Yeah. Feel this one. Yeah. It's no good. Well, John, I can't help it. We don't have that much paper. I'm just letting you know. Throw that in there. Yeah, actually. Take it apart. Take it apart and use some of it. Woo! She needs to rip it. She needs to rip it, Tyler. <laughs> Tyler needs to rip it. 
I mean, the rip that you couldn't just take it apart. <laughs> oh, we're going to burn it, who cares? There we go. Ah, that smells like cardboard. Nice. All right. I cannot live in a world where I have to censor myself because your video is You guys are the worst. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, guys, here's our setup. It's hard to see through the camera, but we've got some tiki torches lit over there because we're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes back here. And so we're trying to use some citronella, citronella oil in the torches. But look at how nice the fire's going. Isn't that awesome? The first thing I said, what do you think? The <laughs> placement is bad. <laughs> what do you mean the placement is it bad? It looks good, but the mosquitoes. Well, mosquitoes? that's the first thing I said when you said we're going to put a fire pit too. back here. I said we're going to get beat a lot. Well, this is a perfect spot in the yard for the fire pit, though. Yes, it looks nice. But... So here we are, guys. Thanks for joining us. I wish you could be here. Have a nice weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.